Welcome back, guys. Today we will be doing foreign exchange. Let's get started. So the question that I'll be doing, it will help you to understand foreign exchange. The question reads as follows. A tourist changed 2,040 US dollars. So this tells me the currency that I'm working with. So this is changed into Jamaican currency at the exchange rate, and this is the important part, one US dollars gives me 150 Jamaican dollars and 53 cents. So one US is $150.53 in Jamaican currency. So the question is, calculate the amount of Jamaican dollars he received. So we need to know if this tourist comes to Jamaica, how much will he get for 2,040 US? I will have one US gives me 150 Jamaican dollars and 53 cents. And then the tourist has 2,040 US, not sure how much Jamaican dollars. So let's call this X. So now I am going to cross multiply. So cross multiplying. So one times X, that gives me X equal. And we're going to multiply 2,040 times 150.53. So I'm multiplying 2,040 US times 150.53. So calculating this, so the amount of money that this person will have is $307,081.20. And this is the Jamaican currency. So all we do, we say if one US gives us $150.53, and I have 2,040 US, not sure how much Jamaican dollars, so we cross multiply. So one times X, that gives me X, and 2,040 times $150.53, multiplying it, we will get the Jamaican currency of $307,081.20. So we're still doing the same question. Now this is part B. The Tories spent $200,500 and changed the remaining Jamaican dollars into American currency at the same exchange rate. Calculate the amount of US dollar he received. So the Tory spent $200,500. This is the amount that was spent on the island. Remember, this person, when exchanged the $2,040, he has, and I said he because remember, the question stated he. So he has $307,081.20. This is the amount of money received. However, this amount was spent. So to find out how much is remaining, I will have to subtract. So subtracting the amount remaining is 106000 $581.20. That's the amount of Jamaican currency that this tourist has. So he has $106,581.20 remaining. So that's a change remaining in Jamaican dollars. Now to convert it to American currency, 
you have to go back to the exchange rates. So the same exchange rate, US and JA, one US gives me $150.53. So this time I want US, so I'll have an X on my left. And the amount that I have in Jamaican is a hundred and six thousand five hundred and eighty one dollars and twenty cents. So now I am finding out how much US do I have. So there's gonna be some division. Cross multiply. So we cross multiply. So one times a hundred and six thousand five hundred and eighty one dollars and twenty cents will give me $106,581.20 is equal to X times $150.53. So that's just 150.53 X. So divide both sides by $150.53. This cancels. I will have $708.04. So it'll be zero. But behind the three is a nine. So we round up. So that's why it's four cents. Now remember, this is actually u.s currency so don't forget that this is u.s currency so the tourists spent this amount so the amount that was carried into the island is three hundred and seven thousand and eighty one dollars and twenty cents so to find the amount that is remaining after spending two hundred thousand five hundred is subtracting to get $106,581.20. Next, converting this to US, one US is $150.53. We want to find out how much US this tourist will have. So I'll have X will give me this amount. Cross multiplying one times this amount, I have $106,581.20. And X times 150.53 gives me $150.53 times X. Trying to make X a subject, so we divide both sides by $150.53, dividing this to get $708.04 in US. So that's the amount that the tourists have presently. Still the same question, the tourist visited a friend who loans him 23,500 Jamaican dollars. How much US currency does the tourist have in total given that the exchange rate remains the same? From part B, I have that the tourist has $708.04. So first, I'm going to convert the 23,500 Jamaican dollars to US, then add that amount to the $708.04. Let's start. One US, give me $160.53. So that means if I have 23, thousand five hundred Jamaican dollars I am trying to find out how much US will I get for that so that's why I have an X so I will cross multiply so one times twenty three thousand five hundred that gives me twenty three thousand five hundred and X times one hundred and fifty dollars and fifty three cents will give me one hundred fifty dollars and fifty three cents times x and i divide both sides by 150 dollars and 53 cents this cancels so now 23 
1,500 divided by 150.53, that will give me $156.12 because behind the one is a five, so we round up. And this is US currency. So to find out the total amount of US that this tourist has is $708.04, I am going to add it to the $156.12. So adding this, we will get $864.16. And this is in US currency. So this will be the total. So to get the total amount that the tourists have after getting a loan from the friend, for 23,500 Jamaican dollars, we converted it. So one US is $150.53. So how much will this tourist get if the loan of 23,500 Jamaican dollars is given to him? So we cross multiply one times 23,500 to give me 23,500. And X times $150.53 will give me what I have here. So to make X a subject, we divide both sides by $150.53. This cancel, and calculating this to get $156.12. So I converted it because the question asks, how much US currency does a tourist have in total? So that is why this had to be converted to US. So having the conversion, we can now total this with the amount that the tourist had left after spending. Adding these two figures, the total amount that this tourist has now is $864.16 US. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.